Dear viewers, Drishti IAS welcomes you to the new series of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Hepatitis B. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. A series of unexplained cases of Hepatitis B in children has taken over the world. Many countries including the US and UK reported mysterious cases of a few children being diagnosed with Hepatitis B. Now let's discuss about the key points. The viruses found in affected children were not any of the usual viruses that are linked to Hepatitis A, B, C, D or E. Instead, it is caused by adenovirus, which is a family of viruses that usually cause cold among other symptoms. Now let's understand what is Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is an infection in the liver which happens because of the Hepatitis B virus or HBV. The virus usually spreads through blood, semen or other body fluids. It can be prevented or protected against through vaccination. When it is acute, the virus lasts a small time and does not always necessarily need treatments. Although it can get serious and lead to life-threatening diseases like organ scarring, liver failure and even cancer. Now let's discuss about the symptoms of Hepatitis B. The most common symptoms of Hepatitis B are jaundice, fever, fatigue that lasts for weeks or even months, vomiting, loss of appetite and pain in joints or belly. There is a fair chance that the symptoms are not visible for 1 to 6 months since you catch the virus. Now lastly, let's discuss what is adenovirus. Adenovirus is a group of viruses that commonly cause cold or flu-like symptoms, fever, etc. Adenovirus is spread from one person to another through close contact, coughing, sneezing or even by touching an object containing adenovirus. Type 41 adenovirus is suspected of causing hepatitis B in children. While there are more than 50 types of adenoviruses, it is type 41 that causes diarrhea, vomiting and fever along with respiratory problems. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding hepatitis B. 1. Hepatitis B is an infection in the kidneys which happens because of the hepatitis B virus. 2. It can be prevented or protected against through vaccination. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Trishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.